Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, as you guys can see from the screen, we are gonna be looking at yet another season ladder player. Yesterday or day before yesterday, we saw Fabinho. Now in today's video, we are gonna be seeing Martins. This is another card that I always see whenever footage is released. I absolutely love this guy. Now we have premium footage for him, just like what we had for the previous card that we looked at. Now this is the center forward card. I'm pretty sure you get striker as well. Yeah, you get striker and cam as well. He plays for Galatasaray and uh, yeah, this is going to be really, really interesting card to review. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoyed the other videos as well. Now, first off, he has 5 star skill move and 4 star weak foot. I wish it was the other way around. 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill move would have been more fun and would have been more useful. Uh, but it is what it is. 4 star weak foot is not bad at all. And his preferred foot is right foot. He has high attacking and defensive work rate. As you can see from the card, he has 93 pace, 94 shooting, 94 uh, passing, 95 dribbling, 90, I mean 80 defending, and 87 physical so a uh, center forward slash striker slash cam basically an attacking minded player with an 80 defending stats is also really nice he has 72 interceptions 82 stand tackle and 84 slight tackle not uh, not at all bad stats for a striker or a cam player insane it is insane now the main things are his pace shooting dribbling and his physical is 99 jumping, 99 stamina, 99 aggression. Totally cool about it. Totally happy with it. Strength 74. Eh, don't really care about it. I think that's the only stat that has brought this physical down from a potential 98 or 97 to uh, 87. But it is what it is. Now looking at uh, pace. He does for a striker. Is this 93 pace low? I mean I have... Lissandro Martinez, who is at 96 pace, a center back, 96 pace. We have a center forward slash striker or cam card with 93 pace. And he's not going to get any upgrade. But this is also a free card that everybody is going to get. 93 pace is not bad, 94 shooting. I'm pretty sure he, because of full cam, his sprint speed will increase. So that's, that's a plus. And shooting 92 shot power, 94 finishing, 94 attacking position, 96 long shots. You know, insane shooting and uh, passing stats, guys. Not gonna lie, these passing, shooting, and dribbling stats are really, really nice. 99 balance under dribbling, he has 97 ball control, 94 uh, dribbling, 96 composure, he has 99 shot pass, 96 curve, uh, 98 vision. Oh my god, this card looks dangerous. I am really, I'm, I can't wait to go put him in a team and see how he is going to be in game. We'll do that in a minute. Before that, we'll actually look at the playstyle pluses. Finish shot plus and power shot plus. Good playstyles, pinched pass plus, rapid plus. Okay, he has rapid plus. Ooh. Okay. So, he might actually be good in game with pace, you know. I'm not going to lie. I have 98 Puskas. And I don't think anybody else is taking his position as my number one striker for now, at least. And I hope Martin is, Martin is like a third best striker because I also have 97 Depay. I don't know, you know, but I mean, Martin is a good card. The main reason I do these player reviews, like I said in the Fabinho video, are to show the players who have joined new what these cards are how they are in game because many people will ignore these cards i'm pretty sure many people will ignore these cards just because it is low rated doesn't mean the card is bad look at the stats come into this look at the attributes look at the individual stats 99 shot pass 92 shot per 96 long shots 97 ball control 94 dribbling 99 stamina 99 jumping all these stats look really nice so why not just try it and even if you don't want to play with them you can look at these videos and have these videos as a reference whether you guys need to play you can play with them i have put fabinho in my team and i'm still sticking to fabinho in my team and i've not taken him out yet because he's really good in the defensive midfield position i'm playing him with center midfield position his passing is good he might not be Cruz or he might not be Modric he might not even be Huller he might not be the Granit Zaka card that we did a preview on few days back but he's a really good third or second or third choice 
डी एम और सेंटर मिड फील्डर फॉर फ्री गाइज सो दिस इज द मेन रीजन फॉर मी डूइंग दिस सीजन लैडर प्लेयर रिव्यूज आई एम गोना बी डूइंग रिव्यू ऑन हर आई एम गोना बी डूइंग रिव्यू ऑन एवरी प्लेयर हियर बिकॉज फुटीज इज समथिंग दैट आई रियली रियली लव एंड इट इज वॉट इट इज दीज वीडियोज आर गोना बी इन द चैनल इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट टू वॉच दैम यू गाइज हैव इट here you guys can always uh, watch them and other type of videos are also being uploaded on the channel in case you guys don't want to watch these videos we have different videos in the channel as well now let us actually get mertens and put him in a squad and see how he's in game okay let me add mertens to the squad and we'll see how he is in game now i'm pretty sure he's going to get full cam guys not going to lie my guy is going to get full cam 100% comparing him with some of the stats with puskas you can see the difference between him and puskas of course it's going to be massive of course it's going to be insane but for a 94 rated card that you get for free which is also a wonderful beautiful premium footies card lovely design i think we shouldn't you know it shouldn't be much of a problem decent stats and some of these boosted stats are here as well you guys can see he gets 96 shot power now he gets pretty much max ball control he gets 98 dribbling 96 sprint speed we'll test all this out we'll test pace shooting dribbling majorly in this uh, review and see how it is you know what pace is pace is a bit low after playing with puskas it does feel a bit a uh, week uh i mean it's not struggling level bad you can use him as like a third choice striker or just use him in an sbc at this rate i mean if you guys aren't satisfied with how he is in game you can just use him as sbc that is the highlight about this 94 rated card these ga- cards are best to put in sbcs and not worry about it or you can use them and actually they might be good in game like fabinho for instance fabinho i feel like was a really good card not going to lie fabinho feels really good now look at that mertens is passing mertens is pace is a bit low not going to lie pace is a bit woeful for a striker even though it says uh, 93 pace It doesn't feel very 93ish we have not got a clear shot uh, we have not got a clear chance for shooting shot par is actually pretty 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 okay is guys i wouldn't say the stats on the card as far as uh, we uh, played with them so long for 26 minutes of in game Mm, doesn't really look true to the stats on the card like uh, maybe it is because i've got used to puskas and uh, playing with memphis defe that right now martens doesn't feel like it but his pace his acceleration is very very slow his shot par doesn't feel great maybe because of, it's because of the off balance shot i gave just now but i'm not getting clear chances in uh, shooting uh, because what i can conclude from this is Martins this Martins card is not the card that you want to use right now in July where players are having crazy crazy good defense crazy good midfield like it is it is a card that you can put in an SBC as far as this player review goes that is where my conclusion is if anybody out there has played with this card please let me know if i'm wrong because for around 30k or 20k you can get a better striker you it might be a 93 rated or a 94 rated yet again but there are cards at the same overall which are better than how they feel with this i mean yeah i think this card is what you would have you know as a backup for an sbc or a, a exchange when it comes to like some crazy player out there you want a 94 rated squad or 92 rated squad you can use martins as a as a player in the exchange that's where i have come to the conclusion even fabinho is actually pretty decent compared to uh, martin so far i can't use him as a striker i maybe i can use him as a center attacking mid i don't know but 
definitely not as a striker or a center forward. Uh, that is how much I have realized now, playing with him for almost half time. Look at that, he's too slow, he's too slow. His short bar is okay, he did get a goal, finishing is really good. But I don't know, I mean, do I, he's like a third or fourth choice striker guys for me, I would, I would put him at that place. I don't think he's gonna be my first choice. I don't think he'll be anybody's first choice. If somebody is gonna think of playing him as first choice, keep him as second choice, go to the market and buy a first choice center forward or a striker. I think that's the best thing to do right now. I don't know if Mertens is the way to go, but yeah, we'll see how the next uh, card is. I think the next one is gonna be left wing, I guess. We'll see. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what it's gonna be. Hopefully something different and you guys don't get bored. So yeah, bye-bye, take care, stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling, take care.